Okay. Uh, so welcome everyone uh, for the second lecture of today. So Professor Sergio is going to tell about their about their second lecture. So what do you say? Okay. Thank you. So uh, here is just uh, to to recall uh, uh, what uh, the the main things uh, that uh, I, I say I. Uh, uh, recall the, la, the last time that uh, we discussed. So the past point that I've shown to you uh, what, how many concepts of uh, equilibrium statistical physics uh, can be used uh, on a practical level in experiments uh, in order to calibrate uh, in, in instrumentation. So we have seen, uh, for example, that the, the, main, the main concept of course is equipartitions that allows you, for example, to um, uh, to calibrate the stiffness of optical tweezers uh, or uh, IFM uh, cantilever. Uh, then, uh, of course, the, the, the Gibbs statistics that allows you by, by just measuring the, the prob probability distributions of fluctuations of the position to, to con reconstruct the, the potential. And then uh, otherwise the detail balance also can help you to, to, to verify this result. And then also we have seen that fluctuation dissipation theorem in equilibrium relates the imaginary part in, in Fourier space relates the imaginary part of the response to the spectrum of the fluctuations. And this again can be very useful in order to, for example, to measure uh, viscosity of uh, response function without actually putting excitation into the system, okay? Then uh, we, we switched uh, to uh, out of equilibrium and uh, what the, the main result uh, that uh, I, I discuss was uh, the fluctuation theorem, both uh, in uh, statistic and uh, in, in, in non-equilibrium steady state, NS. And uh, so what, uh, what I've, I've shown to you is that uh, uh, using standard quantity, for example, Q and W, uh, we will see today that uh, entropy is also a, 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 an, inter an interesting, an interesting uh, aspect on that. But uh, the, main, the main point that uh, uh, I, I've shown to you that uh, if you look at the, 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 the fluctuation of this quantity, usually in uh, macroscopic thermodynamics, this uh, are, uh, are uh, simple value quantities. Whereas here, uh, these are fluctuations. For example, I've shown you the fluctuation at a, on a time tau of this, uh, of this quantity, and, uh, the, the work and, and the heat that is exchanged with the heat buff so, uh, satisfy uh, fluctuation theorem. That is that the, the probability of having a positive fluctuations of, uh, of the quantity Respect respect divided by the probability of having the negative fluctuations, the log of, of, of this ratio is just a linear function of, uh, of the quantity itself. But uh, we have also seen that uh, this uh, has uh, an asymptotic uh, uh, behavior in the sense that uh, there is a sigma tau goes to one in uh, when tau goes to infinity. So this relationship is satisfied only for a very large time. Okay. And uh, what uh, uh, this indicates that you are in a steady state, that is, you are forcing permanently your system. Whereas, uh, if you do a, a, a switching experiment that you start from equilibrium and you switch on your driving, in, in such a case, you see that, uh, that uh, the fluctuation theorem is satisfied. Uh, for any tau. Okay, this is always true. In this case, if you start from equilibrium. Uh, there are subtle differences in the proof of, 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 uh, of the two theorem, but okay, this is actually this is actually the case. Okay, so now uh, it, uh, I want to introduce a, a nice quantity that uh, really related to, to stochasticity, which is the uh, trajectory dependent entropy. And uh, this is a very important quantity. You will see that uh, there are uh, interesting features of, uh, uh, of the trajectory dependent entropy. So uh, we have seen uh, last time that actually uh, I can easily measure the, the work. I can easily measure the, 
the fluctuation of internal energy on very simple systems. And uh, uh, this is the, uh, the, of course, the standard entropy, the, 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 the standard definition of entropy that you use in thermodynamics. That, uh, of course, is the ratio with, uh, with respect to the temperature of the heat bath. I have shown to you that all the, all the systems that I've, uh, I've described are strongly coupled with the heat bath. So the temperature is really well-defined quantity and is constant. Okay, so uh, the point is the following now. Uh, the, the, the point is that uh, in, in, uh, when you go from a state A to a state B, we will see, uh, indeed, uh, uh, as the system is fluctuating, there are many possible trajectories that the system can, can do, okay? Suppose that I want to change, for example, the energy from a state A to a state B, okay? This can be done uh, as the system is stochastic, it can be done with the trajectory, it can be done with another trajectory, and, uh, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so uh, you can define the mean entropy just based on the fact that uh, by doing the, the, uh, uh, the integral, uh, so as you do for, uh, for Gibbs state, uh, for uh, the Gibbs entropy, so you can integrate the probability of having a certain trajectory given a, a, a certain behavior of the control parameter, lambda t is the generic control parameter that allows me to do the transformation from A to B. And uh, uh, of course, this is the, the way in which you can define the entropy. Now, let, let us see what, what I can do uh, uh, more, more precisely. Okay, so what uh, I, I can do, I can define at this point a trajectory dependent entropy, which is uh, the, the way RP, as I said, is the probability of having the, uh, the system, the state uh, X of T uh, at the time T, taking into account that the, 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 the value of the control parameter is lambda T at that time. Okay, and now I defined a total entropy. Uh, this, uh, all this concept has been defined uh, very well. Uh, uh, probably I mentioned here on, uh, by a, a paper of, uh, of, uh, of um, Hugo Seifert in uh, PRL in 2005, but then it was also checked in, uh, for example, in a Mark Markov process by independently by Pugliese, Rondoni, and Vulpiani. Okay, so uh, here, you, you, what you can define is the variation of the total entropy on a time tau, okay? Yes. So, sequence of truncated numbers. And yes, suppose so, yeah, that uh, depends, you can do both. I mean, either you can do in, uh, in a transient or in a steady state. Suppose that you are in a steady state, okay? So you take your time series and uh, you, you put on a time tau, okay? And then uh, you repeat uh, this uh, the, the observation in different time tau, and you see that the way in which the system evolves, of course, is being chaotic is different from one another, okay? On the basis of that, I can define the probability of having a certain trajectory within the time tau, okay? So it's a concatenated list of, of certain Truncated numbers. Yeah, truncated number. I mean, you see, this is defined, okay, this is the generically defined, but then what you are interested in, you will see more precisely in the, in the, in the, in the next uh, slides, you will see that uh, what I, I am interested in is the difference of entropy, okay, the, in, in the time tau, okay? So the, the amount of energy that I'm, the amount of entropy that I am producing uh, in, uh, during uh, my uh, non-equilibrium steady state. Okay, other questions? Are you imagining a finite temperature heat bath? Uh, yes, yes, uh, yeah, no, as I said, I mean, I, I always describe uh, mesoscopic uh, uh, object, so that can be a colloidal particle, it can be a, a small, uh, for example, your small uh, point that was pushing uh, on, uh, on, uh, on a membrane, mm -hmm. and so uh, in such a case, uh, it's obvious to think that uh, all the environment, especially if you are in liquids, 
uh, is the thermal buff of the system. So temperature is not an issue. It's, it's very well defined as is constant. Okay. But presumably, if you were to uh, press vigorously on a point on an elastic membrane, there'd be heating, frictional heating. Ah, absolutely, but this, this is another story. And But then I consider this is my Q, that is the amount of heat that is transferred by the system towards the heat bath, okay? And the yeah. heat bath is much bigger. Than Absolutely. The Imagine, for example, a colloid that uh, we will see that a colloid that is trapped by an optical uh, trap, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, yeah, it's surrounded, uh, which is a uh, micron size, and uh, the, the heat buff is millimeter size. So there are no question Perfect. about the inertia, the, the thermal inertia of, of the two. Uh, although, as I said la last time, uh, for example, you, you can, uh, because of a small absorption of, uh, of the laser, for example, uh, mm -hmm. on, on the particle, then there is a local heating, but uh, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it remains very small, about uh, one degree or about 300 Kelvin or something like that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, other questions? Okay. So... Now, uh, we are interested in studying what, what is doing delta S dot, okay? Uh, so, uh, let, uh, let me consider, for example, uh, the famous torsional pendulum that uh, we have studied in detail uh, la last time, okay? And, uh, uh, of course, in this case, uh, you ha I have two degrees of freedom. The, the probability, ah, okay, which, which are independent, and so uh, my variation of the entropy of the uh, tra trajectory dependent entropy is just the ratio of the probability in ti plus uh, one tau one for the position and for the velocity, okay? And then, okay, this is uh, just the, 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 you see is, is just the difference of, uh, of the trajectory entropy in the two instant, okay? And then, uh, okay, we can compute the heat, uh, as we did the last time. And so let, let us see what is happening. Uh, first of all, uh, I, I, I want to say that one has to pay a, a lot of attention to what, what is doing. Uh, this probably answer to, to your questions, this, uh, the, this next picture, okay? Uh, suppose that now, as I've shown la last time, uh, you, have, uh, uh, you, are, you are forcing the system periodically, okay? As I said before, there is a mean in, in a time tau, for example. This I put for the time tau exactly only one period of the forcing. Okay, you see that the, I have a mean behavior. Okay, this is the mean response of the system, which is the average over many, many uh, periods of, of this. Okay, but then if I take a single realization of that, okay, I have a fluctuation around the mean, uh, the mean behavior. And this is actually the, the trajectory dependent entropy. Uh, I, have, I have not to do the probability distribution of all the system, but only of the fluctuations along the mean trajectories, okay? And this, as the system in this case is quite simple, is linear, it means that uh, the fluctuation, the, the trajectories is just transporting the equilibrium fluctuations around the, uh, the, mean tra the mean trajectory, okay? And so let us see what is happening. I determine this in this way. This is uh, the result of the measure, okay? And uh, I, I'll show you what is happening, okay? Uh, so uh, this is, uh, you have already seen, these are the probability distribution of the heat with the strong uh, exponential tails, as I explained uh, the other day, okay? This is uh, the, 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 delta, the delta U, okay? The, in, uh, the, the fluctuations of, uh, uh, of, of uh, the, the PDF, okay? Which it turns out to be uh, equal, if you want, to the trajectory dependent entropy, okay? Uh, indeed, indeed, this can be easily understood in the, if you look at this, because this is actually a quadratic function. The probability is just a quadratic function of theta and of the velocity, okay? So if you do this, it's very, it's very interesting because uh, now I am just applying the definition, so I sum in the, uh, the, the system entropy, the one that is induced by the heat, 
and the trajectory dependent entropy and I do the probability distribution function now of the, uh, of the total entropy. Now you see that the total entropy has completely different shape of the heat and is a recovery Gaussian. And what is interesting now, remember that Q was actually the filtration theorem was true only for very, for uh, let us say relatively small uh, fluctuations. Whereas now you see that for the total entropy, okay, you see that I have a, uh, the dependence that is uh, the sorry the linear dependence for the total entropy for the fluctuation theorem that is independent of the number of average that uh, I've done. You see, this is just the the um, the symmetric function that I plotted last time. So this is uh, the ratio of the fluctuation of positive and negative fluctuation, the probability of the positive and negative fluctuation with respect to the values, okay? So I, in this way, I'll show you that uh, indeed the result of this theorem that uh, can be proved. And uh, that is that the, the logarithm of the fluctuation, the probability of the fluctuation of the total entropy, okay, are, uh, uh, are just a linear function of the total entropy for any tau, okay? So indeed, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this quantity, uh, for the fluctuation theorem for this quantity is not, an, an, uh, uh, is not asymptotic, but it is true for any time, okay? This is, uh, you, have, you have a question, yeah. yeah. Could you just go back to one slide? What? Just a slide back? Yes. Yeah. Isn't the the tau that you have there, yes. the radius tau, it's all scales up or you're, you're dividing it one by tau somewhere? Sorry, no, say, so say again. So tau goes as delta S total. Yes. And that's for a single tau or is it like for radius tau? So where is the tau scaling up in the? The, the tau scaling is, uh, uh, okay, F first of all, this, this is correspond to, to very short tau, okay? So that, 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 that actually the critical one because for the very long tau, everything, uh, uh, of course, the, so this is, you see, this is the green, okay, correspond to n equals seven. So we integrated only, we have done the operation for tau equals seven periods, okay, for the forcing. And now you see that uh, uh, I am comparing, if you want, uh, the, uh, this distribution, okay, the, this distribution for m equals zero, that is when there is no forcing, Okay, the one that we have seen the last time. So, so these are equilibrium fluctuation, which is the black line, okay? With the dose that I have when there is a forcing, okay? Which is the green line, okay? And so what I'm showing that indeed, uh, the uh, trajectory dependent entropy is giving just new informations about the distribution of, uh, of, the, of the internal energy of the system, okay? And so uh, what you get here, and then at the end of the story, you get that this quantity actually is, uh, 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 the, for this quantity, the fluctuation theorem is, is, all, is always true for any, for any tau, okay? So there is another interesting properties because now what I, I, can, uh, I can separate, you see, it's, uh, I can write the Q of tau, the definition of total, the total entropy, like the, the, the difference of the work minus the internal energy, okay? And now you see that the trajectory dependence entropy in this case is just delta U L equilibrium is what, uh, exactly what, uh, what uh, I, I, I'm saying. And so the interesting why this, I mean, just playing by hand, why this is working without doing uh, any theorem, uh, you see that uh, indeed uh, what uh, I am doing in this case, uh, thanks uh, to the trajectory dependent entropy, you see that uh, uh, I'm just subtracting from the, the out of equilibrium internal energy, just the part of the energy that is come from equilibrium, okay? And so you, you see that when there is no work, actually Q of tau is equal to the delta U. And so you see that what is very, the very important claim is that the total entropy is really the good quantity to look at when you are out of equilibrium in this case, because in equilibrium is exactly zero, both for the mean value and the average, okay? It's exactly delta, a delta function in, uh, in zero, okay? 
So, uh, uh, in, uh, before uh, I, uh, 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 in order to make uh, this point more clear, I prepare a small exercise, okay, that uh, you can complete uh, uh, if you want uh, uh, by yourself. So, now suppose that I do a, a different experiment. I, I, I use uh, a, a, an overdumped because. Uh, Okay, I, I prefer the white the difference to, to, from Maximo. Uh, I, I prefer white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let me let me do the following experiment. You remember one of the pictures that I've shown last time? I have a colloidal particle moving on a circle. Okay, and this can be done, for example, by trapping the particle and moving the laser beam. Okay, along along the circle. Okay, so now let, let, uh, this, uh, this uh, you can do the experiment, but uh, this the system is uh, very simple. You can do exact calculations and then predict exactly the result of the experiment. So what the, 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 schema, the schema of this will be, for example, the colloidal particle that uh, is, uh, in, uh, is uh, connected to a spring with the stiffness K, okay? This corresponds to the optical trapping, okay? And then what I am doing, pay attention, what, what I'm doing, I'm moving this, the, uh, the central point of, uh, of uh, the optical tweezer, so I'm moving this. So this corresponds to, for example, to move the point where the, the, the spring is connected at constant velocity V, okay? And now, of course, I have a viscosity gamma that is acting to that. So, of course, uh, the particle will uh, go to a, st a steady state, okay, the, because of, uh, of, uh, of the reaction of the viscosity to, the, to this one. So, if, uh, <coughs> so let me write, I will have uh, a, a, a Langevin equations, okay, like this minus kx. Uh, minus kx zero, okay, plus uh, a noise term, okay. That of course the noise term is standard is uh, at t at zero, and this is two times uh, kbt gamma, okay. Delta uh, delta t, okay. This is the recoloration, okay? So if uh, I skip the, the transient, okay? I put this, uh, uh, I begin to look at the system after many relaxation times. So the, the, the mean solution of that in absence of noise will be, will be of course, Vt minus V, uh, what I call it? Okay, yes, gamma over K. And this is will be mean minus, uh, minus T over alpha, okay? where uh, alpha is just gamma over K, okay? Good. So now suppose that I've been in the observation uh, for very, very long, long time with respect to alpha. So this will reduce, of course, to this, okay? This is the work. Uh, so I am down I am in a steady state in which the particle moves, okay? Constant velocity. Now, let, let me play in the game. Uh, so the system is in a, this is a, in an S, okay? Uh, and this is, of course, in the case for tau, for, for T, much larger than alpha, okay? Ah. Okay, good. So uh, now let me, let me play the game. This is just the mean trajectory, but now you see the system is linear. So what it means that in general, I will have uh, that uh, X will be given by X plus uh, and Delta X. This is just the response of the system to the fluctuations of the heat buff, okay? And so uh, what, what I can do, I can, I can compute the work. Okay, and uh, uh, the work of what it is, of course, it will be zero tau times the force applied to the system time uh, uh, velocity. Okay, now what is the work that I'm interested in? 
Actually, as I impose in the velocity, will be just v, okay, dt. But as in a I am in a fluctuating environment, as I impose the position, the force needed to, needed to move the system, it will be a, fluctu a fluctuating quantity, okay? And how do I measure? I measure that, for example, by measuring the extension of my spring, okay? So what is the work at the end of the story? Will be, uh, will be just uh, minus, okay? Zero, uh, between zero and tau, okay? The minus k x uh, minus vt uh, times v, okay? Dt. Okay, and now you can uh, you can uh, develop this. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll give you, of course, the results. Uh -huh. So it's easy to see that uh, w, uh, w tau is just uh, k v square uh, alpha tau. Okay, uh, minus k. Uh, v delta x, okay? Delta x dt, okay? So I have, uh, this is of course uh, the, mean, the mean work, the average work, okay? On a time tau, okay? And then I have the fluctuations, okay? So let us see here uh, now we, we, can we can compute the fluctuation for at, at least the variance of the fluctuations. So let us go the delta, delta W square, okay? And it's easy to see that AV square will be nothing else than the integral between zero and tau in DT1 or DT2, as I said. Zero tau dt one okay d of amount delta x delta x d two delta x d one okay and uh, okay you uh, then uh, what what you are interested in as you are want to do the variance. You want to compute uh, the mean, uh, the ensemble average of that of a many on a, of a many intervals. Okay. Uh, then you you know that uh, delta x t two uh, delta x t one, okay, uh, is just k v t over k k the equipartition. Then exponential of minus t two minus t one absolute value divided alpha. Okay, and then well, you 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 developed uh, all uh, all the system. Okay, at uh, uh, you do the calculations. Uh, you you can uh, and you get that. Uh, I mean, starting from that, you develop. Uh, you do the things as. as and then you get that this will be one minus plus alpha tau, okay? A minus tau alpha minus one, okay? And now what you, what you, what you realize, okay? You realize that uh, sorry, there is a KBT that uh, that is lost over there. Uh, delta V square. No, sorry. Um, no, I, uh, I made. Uh, sorry. This is uh, this is correct. Uh, yes, uh, this is okay. okay. It was was not okay. It was the prefactor I changed, and so it's uh, just K V square uh, two alpha tau. KBT. Okay. This is the result of the calculations. Okay. When you do, uh, you have done the average of that. Okay. So, questions about that? It's okay. And now, uh, what? Uh, there was a question? No.
Yeah. So, and now what you realize, you realize that indeed for very long, for very large integration time, tau, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, goes uh, to zero in, uh, in one over tau, that is, uh, as, 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 as it should for different reasons. But now what you see that indeed you find what I said uh, last time, that indeed you have that W, w tau, uh, the mean of, uh, of W, okay? is times two times kvt is just equal to the variance probably okay to the variance of delta w tau uh, sorry delta w tau square okay uh, and this is clearly two for tau that becomes much larger Okay, of uh, of alpha. Okay, so this shows that indeed you see that uh, you have uh, such, uh, you remember that for a Gaussian, okay, and here the fluctuation are Gaussian because x has uh, as a, uh, a Gaussian fluctuation, the integral of uh, uh, a Gaussian fluctuating quantity is still a, Ga a Gaussian, and so you see that indeed I've shown to you that uh, for this example, actually, the, 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 the work has an asymptotic behavior. And so you have a fluctuation theory and that is true in the case of a very, very large tau, okay? It's okay? Yes. So I missed the notice on this. Isn't there a tau square because we're integrating t from zero to tau, right? The first yes. One, the first one, is it tau square or? No, this is uh, what, what is coming out is, uh, I mean, there's a term k v square t dt, right? Yeah, yes. Shouldn't it give you a tau square? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, wait, no, 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 no. No, this is the result. Give me, uh, wait. Alpha. No, because uh, the point is the, there is the, the, the x, when, when you inject the x, there is the, the this guy goes away. Because uh, you, 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 uh, this is uh, the, uh, the first part, you see? The, you have VT, VT goes away. So the only thing that remains is big gamma over K, okay? Because indeed, uh, it's exactly, you are moving the system, okay? So you see that uh, the, the, uh, yeah, as you are looking at the fluctuations, uh, okay? The PDF is actually is just shifted along the mean position. And the mean position of the system is just given by the shift that induced by the fact that you are pushing and the viscosity is just stretching the, the spring, okay? Okay, so now to conclude and to show that uh, indeed if you use the total entropy, you see that uh, you, you have a system that uh, is not uh, asymptotic, okay? So let me, let me do the, the, this from, from this side, okay? So now I define the total entropy as I did, okay? This is with Q, Q tau over T minus KB log, okay, of, E of, of x to tau, okay. of more, more precisely, as I saw, have shown to you, delta x of, uh, delta x of tau, okay, divided uh, e of delta x of zero, okay? Okay? Now, e, uh, the heat uh, is, from, uh, from this equation, you see that uh, the heat, uh, okay, uh, okay, I'll, I, I will write it again, it's probably better, it uh, takes not much time. So what you have is that uh, gamma x, I can write the minus the noise term, okay? And, uh, and this, uh, what you do, you see that uh, you multiply this for uh, uh, x dot, okay? And this is just uh, the uh, integrating of a tau. It's just the amount of heat exchange, uh, 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 of, uh, of heat uh, uh, exchange with the heat buff. And now you see there is a term that is given the standard one 
Plus, as I show, have shown yesterday, discussed uh, the, the last time, this is just the work uh, produced by, by, the, the, by the heat buff, okay? And this, of course, is equal to Kx minus uh, Vt, okay? Uh, minus uh, multiply is dot integrated by uh, between zero and tau, okay? The other is a dt that is lost, okay? Good, okay? So zero. Yes. So this, uh, when you compute heat, yes. since uh, heat involves the velocity, shouldn't you write down an appropriate equation for the velocity, which will be the under the equation? Uh, because, uh, see, for position, this work, I agree that because it involves only the position. Yes. But it involves x dot. So the no, uh, but no, 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 the, 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 no, 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 because the, you see, I just reversing the, the, uh, you, the, this is the heat that is a change, okay? Okay, and so uh, you see that uh, if I take my Langevin equation, I write in that way, no, the no. heat is just, uh, is just that this. I agree, but yeah. I'm saying that is that Langevin equation appropriate for the heat or one should actually no, no, the, uh, uh, that is actually you can do the experiment and to see that uh, everything works exactly what, as i'm computing like for example this equation will not give you the equipartition for a velocity right uh, i mean if if i don't force the system it gives a repartition why not you know my question is since you are dealing with a velocity variable Yes. Uh, the appropriate equation for the velocity variable is the under them lens by equation, right? Yes. Let's say, let's say appropriate equation for the position variable. That lens by equation is yeah. appropriate why? I mean, for the uh, position uh, what, variable. What is, yeah, no. Uh, why? It, uh, this is not a problem. It, the problem. I've shown to you la, last time, I mean, uh, many, many experiments on uh, the optical tweezer. This works. This works perfectly. Actually, I mean, uh, Use this to calibrate the, the, the optical tweezers. Yeah. Okay. Shiram. It's actually, a related question. Basically, uh, I think what Sanjeev is trying to say is that if you want to ask about the kinetic energy, for example, yes. Uh, unless you have a mass present in your no, no, but system, okay. I but, think that's uh, really uh, no, no. But uh, of course, uh, 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 as uh, uh, I, I, we, we already said the last time. Of course, strictly speaking, in order to have a bounded velocity, I have to do this, okay? This will be the, the one. But then I, mean, I have to put orders of magnitude, okay? And uh, if you look at the low phenomena, I mean, this guy doesn't count at all, okay? That's so agreed. This, uh, this is, uh, of course, I mean, I, I, I made the point last time, okay, but uh, it's clear because if you do this, uh, I mean, uh, blindly, this is clear is a problem because uh, the, the velocity is unbounded. Okay, and then in any case, in any case, in the experiment, you don't you don't sample the system at uh, continuous time. You have a, a, a finite sampling that gives you a, a, a band pass limit, and so in any case, you have no problem. But then, strictly speaking, you are right. I should put the inertial term. Okay, in order to bound the, the velocity. This is an ultraviolet cutoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, the, the, this is the natural cutoff. Then the experimental cutoff is given by the sampling time. Okay. Okay, but anyway, th thank you for, uh, for this uh, that allowed me to, uh, to make. Uh, uh, okay, so now if you do this, okay, you have uh, many, many terms. Uh, okay, I just write them. Okay. Uh, one is uh, kv square, okay, alpha tau, that uh, is just the, okay, then you have minus k delta e square uh, tau minus delta e square zero, okay, and then you have other extra terms that are given by k zero tau v uh, delta x dt, okay, uh, minus uh, k, uh, k v alpha, okay, then still delta x tau minus delta x zero, okay. So, uh, first thing, the first thing that you notice is. Uh, all of these uh, are, uh, uh, 
when you do the, 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 the average, okay, as you are in a stationary state, this time it goes, it goes to zero, and then go, this, all this term go, goes to zero. So and the, the result is that the mean values of Q, okay, is just equal of K, as you expect, is just equal to the mean value of W, okay? So thermodynamics is, 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 is good. So now you have, uh, what you do, you, uh, uh, we compute now the, uh, the total entropy, okay? And the total entropy, you have to, to look at what uh, the, the, the trajectory entropy is, okay? As I said, I use this. As the system is linear, this is just the fluctuations of, uh, of the system. So will be just exponential of minus delta square over two times KBT over K. Okay. So if you want, I go like this. Okay. And uh, okay, uh, proportional. And now what you have that uh, it's, uh, it's easy. So T. Delta S, uh, delta S uh, uh, of trajectory, uh, as I call it, okay, delta S, S uh, is equal to K over two, uh, delta X, uh, delta X square of tau minus delta X square of zero divided uh, KBT, KB, KB, uh, okay? Good, okay. This is again, okay. And now you see that uh, indeed, indeed, what, uh, when, when I, I'm adding this to, to, to construct the total entropy, okay, uh, the total entropy, I, what, what, No, no, is in the black. Okay. So, uh, because, uh, no, no, uh, yeah, no, no, KB was there. Okay. No, no, I was correct. Okay. Um, okay. So, and now if uh, you, uh, uh, I have a problem here. Uh, yes. Uh, the, uh, uh, I lost because this term actually goes away. I, I have a KBT that is training. Uh, oh, no, no, sure, because this is an energy at this point. Okay. Okay. Like this. So now you see that uh, this term goes away with that. So you see that uh, this is an example in which you clearly see that the, the fact of adding the trajectory dependent entropy is just thrown away the fluctuations of equilibrium, okay? And so it remains but only by, by, by with this term, okay? So you see that uh, now the, uh, you have that uh, the mean value, okay? Delta S dot of the entropy it's just this one, okay, because when I do the average, this is kV square alpha, alpha tau. That uh, is what uh, I expecting because it should be equal to the one of, of the work. But then, okay, by playing the same, okay, this we have already computed, okay. And uh, when I need to do the fluctuation now, okay, the variance, okay, let's call this sigma delta S dot, okay. Sigma square, okay? So this we have already computed is the same term than before, okay? And then, uh, okay, this term, uh, the, then the cross product of these two term gives you, uh, when you average it, uh, is, uh, is zero, okay? And then uh, the square of this is, uh, is just uh, the e equal to, uh, to, to this term, okay? And so the, 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 end, of, the, the end of the story is uh, that um, you, you get for the total entropy, the, the, the variance of the total entropy, 
two uh, k v uh, k v square uh, k b um, alpha tau over t. Okay. And now you see that uh, if I am using the, uh, the again the, the 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 relationship, okay, this uh, I forgot a, a t, okay, because uh, coming from there, okay, um, uh, because I divide by, by t, okay. So uh, and then what you get indeed again that uh, uh, you get that indeed t. Uh, sigma square delta s dot, okay, is just equal to twice kb uh, delta s dot mean, okay, and this is true for any tau, okay? So this is an example, a practical example of, uh, of what uh, 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 the effect of adding uh, the adding uh, the, uh, the the trajectory dependent entropy to to the standard entropy, which actually uh, allows us to have uh, a, a fluctuation theorem for this quantity that is not actually asymptotic, but is true for any uh, length of the interval. Okay. Questions. Okay. So let me continue. So let me. Uh, Summarize uh, the, what uh, we were saying. Uh, may I have the, again the, the screen? What is happening? What? But it is already sure. I mean, uh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll put it again, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, so let me do this. Uh, okay. Okay. So we have already seen this. Okay. And now, so let me summarize. Okay. Uh, what you have seen is that we have, summer, we have uh, studied the fluctuation of an harmonic oscillator. We have measured the finite time corrections uh, for uh, the, the, the standard fluctuation, the, the steady state fluctuation theorem. Okay, and then uh, we have studied the trajectory dependent entropy and show that uh, for this quantity, the stationary fluctuation theorem is verified for uh, uh, any time. Okay. Uh, uh, and then uh, this is a, re a really important quantity because, as I said, is exactly a delta function, a Dirac delta function in, in the case in which the system is in equilibrium. Okay, this is the, the main message. Okay, now till now I've shown to you uh, just uh, linear cases, but uh, uh, what Can is I happening if yes? So uh, in this uh, in this formulation, so that. It Fluctuations of entropy, they are independent of the drag. But if the drag is uh, no, 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 they are not independent on the drag because uh, are independent uh, on uh, uh, on the uh, of integration time. Okay, you see because uh, the drag appear here is uh, k k v square. Okay, is uh, so the uh, the drag the drag is there. Okay, of course. Uh, but uh, what is independent is the fact that. Uh, uh, if I use just the fluctuation theorem for the work, I need to do very, very long integration time because the fluctuation theorem is true only asymptotically. Whereas if I use this, it's true for any time. And uh, most importantly, if you want, is that uh, this quantity uh, is actually a, a, a delta function in zero when there is no driving, okay? So uh, this, uh, the, the, this is clear, okay? And then of course, yes. Under the overdam limit, right? Otherwise, you will have a slightly distribution. Sorry, I, I didn't you know, get your question. It's exactly a delta function only under the overdam assumption. No, 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 no. This this is always true. I because mean, you'll also have iterator 
half mb square. Uh, yeah, the, the, for example, here you see it's exactly the same for the for the harmonic oscillator. Okay, you see that uh, uh, you again. You, you have, because yeah. you separate. You see if you if you do this separation, especially in only in a linear system, you see there is the work. And then there is the out of equilibrium, uh, the, the component of the out of equilibrium delta u, and then delta u in equilibrium. If you have no driving, of course, uh, you see that uh, this must be true. And then uh, the, the, the uh, delta is, totally is, exact, is exactly zero, okay? So in, in independently of, of the fluctuation, it's not the only the mean value that which is zero, which is, of course, uh, should be the case. But in this case, it's true also for, uh, for the fluctuations, okay? So it's a quantity that the equilibrium does not fluctuate, okay? Uh, and in, indeed, I mean, uh, uh, you, you understand that uh, if uh, I subtract, uh, I mean, the, the, the simple part from the signal, okay, uh, somehow uh, the, I am actually subtracting the boundary terms. You see that, 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 that that's what I'm doing. And because in somehow I, I want to, to forget the, the boundary terms, so I, I subtract them, okay? Good. So now what happened in the linear case? Uh, let me take, uh, ah, okay. This is, uh, no, uh, wow. uh, I made a mistake about, uh, okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, so le let me take, uh, yes. Ah, okay, I didn't, uh, okay, yeah. I didn't put full screen. Okay. 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 So now let us go to this case and uh, let me do uh, a, 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 a very. Uh, what is happening now? Yeah. No, sorry, you escape. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Ah, no, no. Oh, okay, no, but this uh, went uh, on the wrong. Okay. Good. Okay. So. Let me go in, in the linear case, this uh, uh, I will do later. Okay, so uh, the point is, is now is the following. Suppose that I have a particle that is trapped in a, in a strongly nonlinear potential. Till now we had uh, just uh, an harmonic oscillator, so the, 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 everything was linear is in terms of the force, okay? This is okay, as I said the last time, is the Kramers, uh, Kramers time, the time in which the system is jumped between the two, the two wells, okay? And uh, uh, so le le let me do the following thing. Uh, I don't know uh, 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 if you are familiar with the famous uh, stochastic resonance. Uh, did you hear about that? No, okay. So uh, actually one of the author was uh, Giorgio Parisi, uh, we got the Nobel Prize last year. No, not for that, but anyway. Uh, uh, so uh, the idea is the following. Uh, I, I, I will show. Uh, now, suppose that what I'm doing, okay, the system has a Kramer rate, as I said, that is the, the natural time in which the particle is jumping from one well to the other, okay? And uh, uh, now let us suppose that I do something like this. 
I begin to oscillate the system is in this way, okay? Like I move the, 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 the two wells like this, okay? With a, at, a, at a given frequency. These are two snapshots, the, the two lines are two snapshots of, uh, of the potential when it is perturbed. Okay, then now you see that uh, here I, I just added a, a term in the potential uh, with a, a given frequency, okay? And uh, uh, what, uh, uh, <coughs> and uh, so what is happening? Uh, I am perturbing the system with uh, this uh, external, external forcing. How this can be done? Uh, can be done, for example, by modulating the intensity of the two beams, okay? By to change periodically the intensity of the two beams as we are discussing uh, yesterday, uh, the other day. Okay, so you are just changing the intensity of, uh, of, of the two beams, okay? Periodically. So let us see what is happening. Uh, the, uh, if you force the system close to the Kramer's rate, Okay, what you see that uh, the jumps of the particle synchronize with the forcing, okay? And uh, how you can see this, you can see very easily uh, by plotting, by measuring the work performed by the external force on, uh, on, on, on the particle, okay? And actually you see that, uh, uh, you, you expect that uh, the work we maximize uh, close to the to the to the um, Kramer's rate because if the jumps uh, at this point synchronize with the driving of course the force that the particle does the that work the force that the that the, the the work that the force does is certainly maximum okay now you can see here what is going on this is just the work as a function of uh, of the frequency of the driving, you see that you reach this, and you see that also the fluctuations of the work goes down exactly, minimize around the, the around the uh, the Kramer, Kramer, the Kramer's rate. Okay, but now what I can do uh, is to measure again to try to do some stochastic thermodynamics of that. Okay. And uh, uh, you see that uh, in this case, this has the probability distribution of functions of the work, okay? Now you see that uh, the, the distribution function are actually very ugly, uh, very complicated, uh, you see here, okay? And this, of course, you integrate over different periods, okay? And now you see that uh, is absolutely remarkable because now if you take uh, the, probability, the, the, the ratio of the probability distributions are between positive and negative events, okay? The log of that, you see that the points goes on the straight line. It is actually remarkable, starting from a distribution that is very, is very, is very complicated, okay? It's not, it's far to be a Gaussian, okay? The same, the same for the heat. You see that also in this case, the heat goes towards the, the, the symmetry line. And everything of this actually can be computed and uh, starting from the Langevin equations. And then you see that uh, these are the experimental points and this is uh, the, the theoretical predictions. Okay, this is a work by, by Imparato here. Okay, so uh, now le let me show a, a, another case that uh, is, is quite, uh, is quite in, in, interesting. That is the set when the system is connected to, uh, to, to, to different uh, it, uh, it sources, okay? And uh, uh, the idea uh, was uh, inspired by the proof that Nyquist uh, gave in 1928 in order to prove that on, uh, on, on, the, uh, on the extreme, of uh, a, a conductor, you have voltage fluctuations which are induced by the, thermo, the fluctuations of the, of the electrons inside the conductor, okay? So the, the idea of uh, Nyquist is a very, very elegant proof. I don't know if you, have, if you have seen, but actually it's really based on thermodynamics. So there is no calculations. I mean, it's just based on, uh, on uh, uh, some, uh, 
deep reasoning of thermodynamics uh, putting the resistor in, uh, in, uh, in an adiabatic containers, uh, changing temperature, I say, I don't repeat here the proof. But anyway, this is, is very interesting. So I, uh, we said, what is happening? Okay, so we came out with this, that the, the, spectral, the spectral density of fluctuations, of, thermal, of uh, noise fluctuations, uh, voltage fluctuation on the stream of the conductor is K, uh, four times KB, uh, uh, the resistance time T, okay? And so the idea was the following. Uh, what is happening if I take two conductors and uh, I connect them and uh, I put uh, the two conductors at different temperatures, okay? And this, uh, uh, look, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's totally equivalent, totally equivalent uh, to uh, the, 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 this system. That is, I put two conductors, okay? I couple them just with the capacitance. So only the fluctuation can go from, uh, from one point to the other, okay? No, no, no DC component of, uh, of, uh, of, of, the, uh, of the current, okay? And uh, this system actually can be proved that uh, is completely equivalent to uh, two colloids, which uh, are trapped, for example, by two optical beams, okay? and uh, connected with, uh, uh, with the spring, okay? And uh, indeed, this is uh, the, the equations that describe the system for, uh, uh, for, the, uh, for the charge inside the conductor one and the conductor two in the conductor two, okay? With the, which are coupled by, by the capacitance, okay? This is that the Nyquist term for each of the, of the two, of the two uh, reservoirs, okay? And then uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, in, an easy game to see that if you, uh, you, you call QM the displacement of the particle M, uh, I am uh, its velocity that uh, will, will be the current in that, the stiffness will be just one over the capacitance, and, uh, uh, and this, of course, is the coupling capacitance. And, uh, and the resistance is just the viscosity of the system. So the system are completely equivalent, but uh, of course it's easy to, to change the, the temperature of two conductor, but it's not easy to change the, the, the temperature of uh, two, two colloids that, uh, that are, are, are very close, okay? So le let us see what is happening here, okay? Uh, okay, you can write this in terms of, uh, of, uh, of uh, of uh, voltages, because this is actually what you measure. You don't measure charges, but uh, voltages, okay? And so these are the equations for that. So this is what is happening. So here we have uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the joint uh, probability uh, of V1 and V2. This is when you are in equilibrium. You see that, of course, uh, there, is, uh, there is some correlation between the two fluctuations because the system are coupled. And now you see that when... Uh, put one of the conductor at uh, nitrogen joint temperature, the other at the room temperature, you see that indeed the, uh, the, 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 um, the fluctuation uh, uh, shrinks on the direction in which uh, the system is cooled down, okay? Now, uh, I mean, ju just to repeat the reasoning, uh, you, you, you may define the, the work performed by one system to the other, and uh, uh, you see that again, uh, you have the, the, the distribution uh, in equilibrium of the work of the system and the, and the heat exchange with the bar, okay? You see that everything is centered to zero because there is no flow, okay? And now what, what is happening here, we said if I, if I, if I, uh, if I cool one of, one of the heat buff, okay? Uh, you see that the, the PDF uh, uh, changes, okay? And uh, you see that uh, uh, one of them is shrinking. Uh, the interesting part is that, again, you can study the, 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 the symmetry of uh, the fluctuations. Here, EM can be the work of, of the, uh, or, or the heat. And now you see that now the prefactor actually it just uh, is, uh, is not the temperature of one temperature, the, uh, that, but is just uh, this term, this the delta beta, is uh, just uh, the, the one over T2, one, one over T1 minus over, over T2, okay? 
So is it just a, you, you will see that, for example, in the case of actually, you, you see immediately that uh, in the case of Q, this is just uh, the amount of energy, the, the amount of entropy that is produced by, by the system, okay? Uh, so now, uh, again, this is very interesting, again, for, uh, for the entropy produced by the system, uh, you, you see that, again, we can define, the, uh, we can define the, the total entropy of the system. In such a case, I have the probability distribution that is the joint probability of V1, V2. Okay, so the total entropy is, again, the same that already defined before, okay, and uh, you see that uh, this is exactly, you see the effect that I was saying, that if in the case of equilibrium, okay, when the two, uh, okay, this should be T2, T uh, no, okay, this T1, uh, yes, when you are in equilibrium, that is uh, the, the conductor is, uh, the two conductors at the same temperature, okay, you see that, uh, uh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't describe what uh, the, 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 the different color are okay if you see that the the continuous line is just the total entropy okay and uh, this is just the trajectory dependent entropy okay now you see that uh, indeed uh, in equilibrium we have uh, this uh, exponential tails and now when you go out of equilibrium the system changes okay and uh, you, you see that this is uh, at 80 when the system is, is cooled okay you have that again the total entropy becomes almost close to a Gaussian. But uh, you see that here, uh, uh, I illustrate the example in which when you are in equilibrium, okay, you see this case, okay, when you have the total entropy, you see that the total entropy tends to, to a, a delta function. Actually, it is not exactly a delta function because of instrumental, uh, instrumental noise, okay, but you see that is a, 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 exactly the thing that I was saying before. It is that uh, in equilibrium, uh, the total entropy shrinks uh, to, uh, to a delta function. And now you see that uh, if uh, you, ah, the, oh, okay, this, uh, I, I, uh, I have to define this, okay. This is the integral fluctuation theorem. Uh, let, me, let me write, I mean, it's just two line calculations, okay. You see that uh, if a quantity, satisfy the, uh, the fluctuation theorem, let's say, uh, uh, let's say the total entropy, okay? The, yes? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the white is lost, okay. Let me, let me do this, okay? This is important because this is the integral fluctuation theorem that you see in many, many, in, in many. So uh, what, what is written there is that uh, X minus, uh, for example, of uh, delta S dot, okay, over KBT, over KB uh, is uh, the mean of that uh, is equal to one, okay? This is, of course, uh, let us say delta S over tau, okay, just to simplify notations, okay? And now this is actually is called the integral fluctuation theorem. But now you see just two lines calculations because uh, what, uh, what the, 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 the fluctuation theorem tells us, okay, that uh, it's just uh, delta S. Uh, tau over KB, okay? And now what you do, take this, okay? And this is, uh, 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 okay. First of all, uh, this I can write, of course, as uh, P delta S exponential of uh, delta S tau over KB, okay? And now what you do, you bring this on this side, okay? Okay, well, let me do, let me do the, in the next slides, okay? So what I'm doing from here, you can write P delta S tau, okay? Time exponential 
minus delta S tau over KB, okay, equal to P uh, minus delta S, okay? And now delta S tau, okay? And now you see that uh, uh, if you integrate this on delta A on, the, on this probability, you get exactly this quantity because of, norm, not of uh, the normalization of the probability, okay? So this is, uh, ah, I have to share again. Okay. Uh, Okay, and this actually in, illustrates that uh, you see this is, uh, is true for uh, this again, you see that uh, this quantity, the integral fluctuation theorem is actually true for any difference of, of temperature, okay? Good. Uh, so as I said, this is equivalent to a mechanical circuit. Uh, okay, many things can be done about, ah, okay, now there is, uh, Another interesting point that indeed uh, on, on a first approximation, this was a claim done by, uh, uh, by Arada and Sasa. You see that uh, the, va the variance out of equilibrium is given by the uh, variance at, at equilibriums plus the heat flux or the currents that they in, are inside the system. And this actually illustrate uh, this, uh, the, the, this effect because uh, here, this part uh, is just the, uh, the, 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 the variance that, is in, that you have in equilibrium into the, of the system, if the, the system at the same temperature, if the two conductors at the same temperature, and you have this part that is just the, uh, the, the heat current that uh, is, the, the heat current that is present into the system. You see it's given by the difference between the two. Yeah, it can be shown that this is actually the hint current by, by measuring the, the mean values, okay? So, uh, yes, I can, I can skip this and in, indeed, uh, okay. So let me, uh, le let me uh, summarize uh, so what, what, we have, uh, what, what, what we have seen. Okay, what I've shown to you that uh, uh, on the, the, there is uh, the, this, this fluctuation theorem, this, uh, this quantity that are in the, in the case of out of equilibrium. At the very beginning, I've shown to you how, for example, concept of statistical physics in equilibrium can be used in experiments in order to calibrate. But so at the end of the story, one can uh, ask uh, whether uh, the stochastic uh, thermodynamics is just an, an, a, 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 an extension of the second principle, but uh, it actually can be used uh, in practical sense in order to do something, because otherwise, okay, we have, we, we have learned that, for example, in the case of Gaussian fluctuations, uh, the variance and the mean are, are connected, okay? So uh, this is certainly an extension of the second principle, but uh, uh, the question is now to understand whether it can be used for something. And then, okay, here I put uh, a, a short list, uh, or I, I, a list that, uh, okay, I, I will not go through uh, all, all of this. I will take uh, some example. The first case is the Janskinski and Crookes equalities that are useful to compute the free energy difference between two equilibrium states using any kind of transformation. This you will see that is actually very useful. Then uh, a tano relation and the fluctuation dissipation theorem for non-equilibrium steady states in S, okay? And, uh, and these are clearly very important because, uh, uh, for example, fluctuation dissipation theorem uh, doesn't hold when you are uh, in, in an equilibrium steady state because, uh, of course, the, the probability distribution function are not necessarily Gaussian. And, uh, and so uh, you, you are very often out of uh, in, in the nonlinear case. And so there are corrections uh, to the fluctuation, the, the fluctuation dissipation theorem that has to be taken into account to do uh, uh, important things. So in this case, stochastic thermodynamics is used. Uh, the 
what, what is interesting that the measure of energy fluctuations actually allows us to estimate tiny amount of heat exchange between the system and its heat bath. Okay, you see that we can measure, for example, using this, uh, the, the idea of these fluctuations, we can measure flut, uh, heat fluxes that are of the order of, of uh, kbt per second. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, you, you can use this in order to calibrate uh, forces uh, and offset, for example, in the mean injected power. Uh, why? Because uh, suppose that now I have, for example, a system that I know which uh, is described, for example, by Langevin equation, okay? And now uh, I, I do measurement on that. I know for this case that uh, the fluctuation term is S2 hold. If it doesn't hold, okay, this is certainly useful information because it tells me that I'm doing something wrong in my experiment. So it's a, it's, it's a cross check, for example, to measure force. Uh, then the same can be said for, uh, for, the, for, uh, for, the, for the for the for the for the in the area, okay. Then uh, it's very important for the efficiency of nano and micro motors. And uh, uh, the other important point that uh, I will discuss is the energy information connection and the role of Maxwell demons uh, that uh, is actually a, a very important aspect uh, of stochastic thermodynamics. Then if I have time, I will discuss this, uh, this example, okay? So let me go to, the, to this uh, important, uh, important statement that is the, the Jaskinski equality, okay? Uh, you see, uh, the, the, the idea now is the following. Uh, suppose that I do a transformation and, uh, and I am driving uh, the system from a state A to a state B by changing the control parameter uh, lambda, lambda T, okay? So I, I, uh, uh, H is the, is the energy of the system, uh, okay? Which is, of, of course, the function of, of many parameters, among them lambda. And uh, uh, so the work that uh, I, I performed uh, is just uh, uh, the, the delta lambda over dt, the h over the lambda. Pay attention because uh, this is always, uh, uh, a, a, um, a, this definition raises a, a lot of questions. And why it raises a lot of questions? Because now, if uh, the, your lambda is a displacement, uh, this is the standard definition uh, of work. But uh, now suppose that uh, your control parameter is a force, okay? And now you see that is a counterintuitive uh, way of defining because this, this will be, uh, for example, in this case will be, for example, F dot. Uh, times uh, uh, times the displacement, okay. So which uh, uh, which is not obvious, but uh, uh, indeed uh, indeed, as far as you uh, you you keep uh, the the relation, for example, the first principle uh, that is still valid, uh, it doesn't matter how you define the, the work. The point is that you have to be consistent in order that uh, the the first principle uh, remains remains valid. Okay. Given this, uh, this definition, th this definition is really important because this, uh, this equality will not work by using other definition, okay? Uh, especially in the case, as I said, in which the force is imposed, okay? And now, uh, uh, suppose that uh, uh, what, what it's telling you is uh, very close to the integral fluctuation theorem that I've shown to you, is uh, uh, you, you start the system from, uh, from a, a equilibrium, okay? The, the, the system is in equilibrium. And then you go to a state B that is not necessarily in equilibrium. You will, you will understand uh, why. Uh, and then the claim is that uh, by doing the, uh, in the mean of the exponential of the work, you get just the exponential of the free energy difference between the two states, A and B. Uh, pay attention, this is a, 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 a strong statement because when we learn thermodynamics, okay, we know that in order to get the, free, the good value of the free energy, we have to do a quasi-static transformation and that the work is always larger than the free energy of difference that uh, between the two states in which you are driving the, the, the system, okay? 
And now this is a strong statement because it is telling you that independent on the kind of transformation that you're doing that can be even very fast, the only trick that you are using is the fact that, uh, that you are doing an exponential average instead of that. Fluctuations plays an important role on that. And now you see that the using the same trick, suppose that now the fluctuation of the work are Gaussian. Okay, you see, I can, go, I can do the same game that I did before. And now you see that there is only delta F that appear over there, you see, and then, uh, you see that uh, uh, the, the delta F is just uh, the, the difference between the mean of, uh, of uh, the value, uh, the mean value of the work minus the, uh, the, 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 the variance of, uh, of the work, okay? So this is a, a very important statement that has uh, many, many uh, applications. Uh, among them, okay, uh, okay, no, sorry. Uh, by playing the same game, okay, that I play here, I mean, in, in which you show that the, 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 the connections between the fluctuation theorem, the integral fluctuation theorem, you see you can, uh, this is exactly what I've written on the blackboard. You see now uh, there is the crook, uh, the crook's identity that uh, is very useful as you will see. Uh, because you write this, the, the Janskinsky equality uh, um, on that. Okay, so uh, what, uh, what, what is the, the, the difference with respect to the stationary state fluctuation theory? Here you, you take this, you drive the system from A to B, okay? But now uh, Crookes tells you, suppose that you are in the condition, this is not always true, but in many cases it's possible, you, you can drive the system from B to A, okay? So doing the, the backward process, okay? That is, for example, if you, uh, uh, you use a certain process for a certain time dependence from lambda, you, you do the, just the reverse path of lambda in order to drive the system from B to A. And so what uh, Crookes tells you is that the ratio of the work from going to A to B divided by the probability of the work computed on the reverse process, okay, this uh, you have to put a negative sign in order to compare this, okay? And uh, this is just equal to the dissipated energy that is W minus delta F, okay? And now you see that uh, is, uh, this is uh, a, a very, very, very interesting because uh, in the case in which uh, you, th this, uh, this two PDF, you will see they, they, have, they have to cross in some place. In the point at the crossing point, you see that uh, the, 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 the will be of course uh, equal and uh, and, and then in this case, uh, in the crossing point, you get that the value of a crossing is just equal to the free, free energy difference, okay? And this is, uh, is, is actually, from a point of view, is, is very, very useful for experimental point of view, because look at this, uh, this kind of average. Uh, the point is that uh, this is very sensitive to extreme fluctuations. Suppose that here you have, uh, for some reason, for the external noise of the system, you have a big negative fluctuation. This will be dominates uh, all over the, uh, 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 on, on, on this average because it's an exponential diversion. And so uh, uh, it's actually it's very useful to, to, to use the two in order to check what your experimental results. Uh, so here I have uh, some pictures again taken by the famous harmonic oscillator. What, what you can do, you can drive the system very fast. The, of course, you drive the system from, for example, this is in zero and then you drive. Of course, the, the free energy difference you can compute very easily. There is no change of entropy, it's just a change of, of, of delta U. Okay, and then you see here, you see exactly what I was saying. There is the crossing points that tells you how much is uh, the, the free energy difference uh, between, the, the, between the two states, okay? By doing uh, back and forth uh, uh, derivation, okay? Uh, now, uh, yes, uh, and, oh, now this uh, will be, be too fast. I prefer to, to discuss this uh, in a few minutes uh, 
next time, okay? This is a, a, a more, a more uh, practical applications in, for example, when you do, uh, you stretch DNA hairpins, okay? And then this allows you to measure, for example, the free energy difference of uh, different states of the, of the hairpin, okay? So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stop here. It leaves you some, some time for questions if there are. Okay, thank you for your attention. Yes. Thank you. Hi, sorry. Um, <clears throat> you, you showed the, the crossing point of the forward and backward distribution yes. in the previous yeah. slide. Yeah. Um, here, I mean, just like in the Jarzinski identity where you need a lot of statistics in order to properly saturate yeah. the distribution so that you get the, here also, I suppose that will still be the case, right? Because you're looking in the... Yeah, uh, uh, yes, of course. It's not as though this allows you to escape from that difficulty. If you're, if you're Gaussian, okay, uh, everything you're happy, you're just, I mean, uh, was there, I mean, you're just to compute the variance and uh, so, and, uh, and, and, and the work, uh, and, and then you get the free energy, okay? You're just uh, from the measure of the variance of the distribution of the work, okay? Right, but of course... Uh, but uh, of course, you are, you, are, you are completely right that uh, if, the, if you are really forcing the system a lot, uh, then uh, not necessarily you will have the, the stream fluctuations that allow you to cross, okay? Uh, this is, this can, can, be, can be a problem, of course, if you force the system too much, okay? This, uh, this is actually the case. One question I have is yeah. that uh, in the case where you have two colloidal particles which are coupled by the fluctuation, what should be the average distance between those two particles? We, we, what would be what? The, the average distance between those two colloidal particles. Ah, okay. No, uh, for example, uh, in the, the, uh, the average distance. Uh, uh, for example, in the case of uh, the equivalent of the two conduct the coupled conductors. Okay. But in that case, uh, for example, the, the, the thing that you can, uh, you, you might have in mind is the just two colloids, okay, that uh, are inside the optical traps. Yes. So in average, uh, it's just the distance of, of, the two, of, the two, of the two traps, okay, because it's to take the average. Uh, that's, yeah, uh, this, this coupling will not be a long range coupling, is it? Or uh, okay, uh, in that case, it's just, uh, I, I consider it is just, just a spring. Then uh, in practical case, for example, you might have uh, uh, the, the, the bi-layers that allows you, of, 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 uh, that, are, that are repulsing at a certain point, or then attractive, uh, attractive interaction induced by, by charges, okay? So this is, is typically, so in the first approximation of what I'm doing, just uh, uh, spring coupling between, uh, between the two. Yeah. Any more questions? For the Nyquist problem, uh, I maybe didn't notice, but you uh, showed a graph for the voltage fluctuations when the temperature difference was initially when T1 equal to T2 and then there was a difference. Yes. Uh, what was the relation uh, between the temperature differences and the voltage fluctuations that you... Ah, oh, okay, sure. Uh, uh, it some, should be some place uh, here. Yeah, let me go back. Okay. Use, okay. You see, in, in general, in general, this is just, uh, okay, if you take this equation, okay, in general, in electric circuits, is exactly, is exactly as, uh, as in the case of, uh, of a Brownian particle. The variance, uh, it, uh, 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 I don't know, I, I just mentioned briefly last time, uh, in, in the case of, uh, of, a, of a colloid, putting the colloid in an optical trap, you are confining the fluctuations, okay? So instead of having a variance that grows as a function of, of time, in such a case, you have that the variance is just, ah, uh, okay, no, so then otherwise, Shiram is unhappy. So, uh, 
So uh, is sigma square, for example, for deposition, as he said, will be KBT over K, okay? Now, in the case of, um, of, uh, uh, of electric circuits, okay, what does it mean to confine fluctuations? You, you put a capacitance that is always present in the mountage, okay? So you, you reduce the, your, your band pass to uh, roughly one over the relaxation time, which is one over RC, okay? And now, so the, the, relevant, uh, the, the relevant physical uh, quantity to look at, then first of all, in, in, uh, in, uh, in electronic circuit, you measure voltage, not charges, okay? Uh, yeah. And then, so the, the, the variance of that will be just KBT over C, where C is the, 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 the capacitance we determine. Okay? Now, here is more complicated because you have the system is coupled. Okay? And what I wanted to point out, okay, this you see that when there is no difference of temperature, the variance of sigma one and sigma two, okay, are given by that, but you see there is the coupling, uh, the coupling capacitance, and uh, uh, X is just a combination of capacitance, okay, that uh, appear there, okay? And the important point, if this is a, a general statement for, uh, for systems that are driven out of equilibrium, but not too much, okay? What uh, Ata, uh, Rada Sasa has shown that indeed, you start from the variance that the system is in equilibrium, and then you drive the system out of equilibrium. And what they, 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 what they tell you is that the, uh, the, the variance of, uh, of the system is modified by the current that, is, uh, the, the energy current that is flowing in, into the system, okay? Because of the out of equilibrium. And this, in this case, I mean, is just, is just what, what they say in general, because, uh, yeah, the only current that I have is the heat flux between the two reservoirs, okay? And so, okay, and then you have to renormalize this for, for the good quantity. But uh, you see that indeed the per perturbation is given by the heat flux that uh, is, is flowing uh, through the system. And actually you can see very clearly from here because you have this term, that is the standard one, plus two terms that uh, change the sign because uh, one, uh, the for one current, for the one system, the system, the current is, in, is, is, is uh, going in and the other is going out, okay? So this is, uh, this is what, what is happening. I don't know whether this was, was uh, your question. Huh? Okay. Okay, if there are no more questions, let's thank you. Okay, thank you.